my god, I finished so many books this month. You guys have no idea how long it's been since I read six books. I'm actually currently reading my seventh and it's insane. I don't even know if this has happened before, but if it has, it's been a long time, baby. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. This will be my reading vlog going on from when I came back from vacation to the reading rush. Oh my god, it's done, it's finished. If you guys want to see how I did with my reading for the rest of the month of July, you can watch this reading vlog. Today is July 13th and I decided to do another reading vlog or at least I'm deciding to do it but I don't know if I'm gonna upload it yet. I hate it when I wear like a ponytail because I feel like I look bald <laughs> but that has nothing to do with this video at all. I just want to vlog with what I'm currently reading. I made a reading vlog when I was in France hence why I have a little bit of a tan. I'm still a freaking white girl. <laughs> okay so like I've mentioned in my past couple of videos. I'm still doing the 50 pages a day challenge with myself. Yesterday and today I haven't really been feeling like reading but that's just because I started a new job at this really nice breakfast coffee lunch place here in my hometown which I really love. I'm having a lot of new experiences and after that I just feel like doing nothing even though I work such little hours. I am currently rereading A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass and I'm only on page 43. Like I like it and I like the way that Sarah J Mass tells the story but I am not like uh, let's put this somewhere else. I'm liking it, but I'm not like, okay, I need to read this right now because I have already read the story once, but it's just, I want to continue on with the series and read it. But I think today I'm going to start this book. I'm really excited about starting this. It's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I never thought that I was going to pick up this book eventually. I read her other book, Daisy Jones and the Six, um, which I absolutely adored. And I always feel a little bit intimidated when a book is is not YA but this is more like new adult slash adult fiction. After reading Daisy Jones and the Six I'm just like fuck it I'm just gonna read what I feel like reading and try to not worry about it too much. I mean I am an adult myself I'm 20 so I shouldn't be super like afraid to start an adult labeled book but I'll tell you guys what this is about. I'll be reading the back. Reclusive Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo is finally ready to tell the truth about her glamorous and scandalous life but when she chooses unknown magazine reporter Monique Grant to write her story, no one is more astounded than Monique, Monique herself, Monique. Determined to use this opportunity to jumpstart her career, Monique, Monique, Jesus, I don't, uh, don't know how to pronounce her name, Monique listens in fascination. From making her way to Los Angeles in the 1950s to leaving show business in the 80s and of course the seven husbands along the way. Evelyn unspools a tale of ruthless ambition, unexpected friendship, and a great forbidden love. <laughs> but as Evelyn's story nears its conclusion, it becomes clear that her life intersects with Monique's own in tragic and irreversible ways. I don't know, after reading Daisy Jones and the Six, I feel like this will just have such an incredible story with an amazing background. I just really like that this takes place in the 50s and 80s and following this main character who has had a really like glamorous Hollywood lifestyle which she will probably like rant about like so much or not rant but like it probably won't be as glamorous as Hollywood likes to make us think. I think it's just gonna be really interesting and I really want to pick it up. I just got this. I ordered a couple of books when I was in France. I always keep like up to date on my Goodreads kind of what I'm currently reading, how many stars I rated the book. So if you guys want to follow me on Goodreads I will leave a link to all of my other social media pages as well in the description bar down below so you guys can check that out. I have Almost! I need to read one more page until I reach the 800 pages goal. Today it's day 13 so I should be at page 650. So I'm doing really well with my challenge and I feel like I'm gonna read a lot of books in July. I usually read around like two or three. I've already finished two. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's parents and have dinner there and I'm gonna take the book with me so I can read a bit. <laughs> Hey 
guys, it is July 14th. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. I should actually be watch watching washing it today, but I'm not gonna because today I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. I have a whole day chilling by myself, and it's been a long time since I've done that, so I'm really liking that. This morning, I edited my thumbnail for my mid-year book, Freak Out Tag, so I will be uploading that in just- Oh, my Netflix show is starting. I'll be uploading that video in just about like 45 minutes today. This is my reading my chill space this really big chair Oh, it's just so chill. I started the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I wanted to start it yesterday, but I didn't read anything at all I just watched three episodes of this Dutch Netflix show which has come out like two months ago or something It's called undercover and it's available in different languages as well It's about two undercover agents trying Trying to how do you say it trying to expose this really big like ecstasy producing guy in the Netherlands and it's really cool I usually never watch Dutch series but it's really good and it's really funny because in Holland we have all these different accents as well and it's all about this southern part here in the Netherlands and I think they have a really funny sweet accent and the story until so far is really good I think I'm halfway through the series yes I am I'm gonna watch episode 5 out of 10 I really like Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing style I've read 42 pages and I'm just really enjoying the story until so far I'm probably gonna read some more in that book today but for now I'm gonna watch this episode and upload my mid year book freak out tag and like promote it on my social media pages when i read daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins read it was completely told through like an interview perspective so it wasn't like a f normally written story but this one is more like that there are also like interview pieces and snippets of like magazines in the story by the way sorry for the glare on my glasses this year i'm really trying to listen to my feelings with reading and because of that I'm reading a lot more also because of the 50 pages a day challenge that I'm still doing. It's also that I'm reading so many more like books that I really want to read and I'm not making a TBR so I can just freely pick whatever book I want to read along the way. But for now I'm gonna watch my Netflix show. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is July the 17th. How do I say that? 17th of July? That's that's much better. I work today from 11 to uh, 1.30, so it's like really short, but I'm really liking my job. Okay, so I've put you on my window. The lighting is a little weird. I am like halfway through The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. After I read the first 100 pages of this book, I immediately ordered another one of Taylor Jenkins Reid's book. I did the major book freak out tag, and one of the questions was your new favorite favorite author of 2019 and I think I'm gonna say until so far Taylor Jenkins read because I never ever thought that I would read this book. I was always super hesitant when I saw this in like booktubers video. You just care so much for like the main character in this plot, in, at least in my case, um, that I just want to know every single little detail about their life. Plus our like main character that we follow is Evelyn Hugo and she was a, a really big movie star back in the 50s to 80s, which I think is really interesting to read from and I really like the 50s, 60s, that type of like, how do you say that time period? I really, really like that. So yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit more in this book. I'm also gonna try and edit a bit of my France reading blog. I also got a package in the mail. I just um, showed you guys my address in the first time that I shot this part of the video. I got sent a really exciting email while I was on vacation. I got contacted by Hono or Ano, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, Press, which is a publishing company that just only publishes uh, books written by females, which I really like because I'm a feminist, yes honey. I got contacted if I wanted to receive a copy of God's Children by Mobley Roberts. Mobley? I don't know how to pronounce her first name, so I'm sorry. This is, I believe, an adult fiction book, heavily inspired by the life of Kate Marston, and she's like a really great feminist figure like back in the 19th century. I'm gonna do a little bit more research in her life and what she has done for this world as a whole. I'm not too sure about a lot of the plot in this book, but I'm just really excited to support a publishing company like this. I'm curious to see what I'll think of it and I will uh, share with you guys my honest opinion. Something that was really cool that I also received in this package is I received just a regular bookmark, but also a bookmark like this. You cannot see it, but do you see those little specks like 
those are flower seeds. I already planted one of these bookmarks in a little pot like this, so I have it right here. I hope that in like a couple of weeks there will be like really pretty flowers that are gonna grow out of it. I don't have, um, how we say that in Dutch, I don't have green fingers. I really cannot take care of plants, but I'm really trying to do my best and I'm get better at it. So tonight I'm gonna go to sort of like a tiny, how do you say that? It's not really a festival, it's not really a concert, but every single Wednesday here during the summer, there is like this kind of festival concert thing here in my hometown. So I'm gonna go to that thing tonight with a couple of my friends and I will see you guys in my next part of the vlog. <laughs> um, hi, do you remember the conversation that we just had like five minutes ago? <laughs> I have uh, received the package. I think that I was waiting for about the Taylor Jenkins read book. This is One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book has a very interesting premise. It's about this girl who gets married when she's like 21 with her like true love. Um, and her true love is like a maker of documentaries, of like nature documentaries. So one day he gets like sent out and his helicopter gets lost. And then the girl that we've been following throughout the story has fallen in love a second time and is being engaged to this other man. And around that time, her first husband shows up again and it's all about this like ah uh, this duel between the man that you love but then he got lost and then you fell in love again and I think it will be a really I don't know just a really interesting read about how you can fall in love with multiple people So today is July 21st. Yesterday I worked the whole day from 2 to 8 in the evening in a town called Tilburg, which is somewhere in the Netherlands. You can look it up if you want to. And they have a really big fair going on there and I did some like promoting work. It wasn't the most fun thing ever, but I have some money, baby, or at least I hope I'm gonna get it on my bank account. I read a lot of uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo like in the train these past days or just sitting on my chair reading it and relaxing and I finished it today because I still needed to read like 25 pages or something. This book just, wow, Taylor Jenkins read did it again. Or basically this book came before Daisy Jones and the Six, so she did it before that already, but I am just absolutely obsessed with her. I'm not really scared, but also a little bit to read her previous novels because I believe that a writer usually gets better with writing more and more books because they are more experienced. So reading more of like her earlier published books is kind of like, oh, I hope they'll be just as good as her recent books that she came out with. Her characters are so complex and realistic, just like normal people, but sometimes books don't get that really right. And I feel like Taylor Jenkins Reid is just really good at that. And she's really good at writing a very intriguing uh, story. I love this book. I give it five out of five stars on Goodreads. What I'm gonna do now is the reading rush starts at midnight today, but I'm gonna like start the books that I have on my TBR because I'm gonna have a busy day on Tuesday as well because then I also have to work at Tilburg from two to eight. So I think that I won't be reading a lot on Tuesday. I won't be reading like a lot. I still need to edit my uh, reading vlog from France when I was there a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna try and edit it before I'm gonna go to Tim's parents and have dinner there but I think I will bring one of the books from the Reading Rush TBR with me. I will be watching my soap making video. I've just been so obsessed with soap making videos from royalty soaps because I saw a video by Sophia Nygaard. She tried to make like soap basically and after that I subscribed to royalty soaps and now I watch every single soap video and I know for a fact that I will never make soap myself. <laughs> So it's basically like so strange, but the internet is a weird place. I'm gonna finish watching my soap video. Oh my God, yes. Um, and then I'm gonna edit my own. <laughs> okay, so I was pretty much almost done with editing my France reading vlog. And lately I've been having so many troubles with Premiere Pro that all of a sudden, after a while of editing, the program just, like the screen kind of turns white and it won't react to any of the things that I do to it. And it's really frustrating because I don't really have like an uploading schedule, but I wish that I would upload on a regular basis on like a Friday or a Sunday or a Wednesday. Like 
I don't know. I don't even know what kind of day you guys prefer a video to go up on. But I really wanted to upload a video today on Sunday and then upload another one maybe on Wednesday. <sighs> when Premiere Pro does these kinds of things, it really, it doesn't demotivate me, but it just, I cannot finish my work, which I think is really annoying. So for now, I'm just gonna let it be, I guess. I cannot really change anything because any time that I restart my computer, it doesn't like restart the program. So it's not like it's working again. So I'm gonna take a book to Tim's house with me. I think it's gonna be The Perks of Being a Wallflower because it's a tiny book and it's been, I don't even remember the last time that I read a small book. Oh my god, my hair looks so weird when I come out of the shower. <laughs> Hi guys, today is July 22nd, I think. So the reading rush officially started. It is almost a 9.30 in the morning. I just took a shower here at Tim's house. I'll be going to my house right now and I'm gonna hopefully make some banana pancakes because I'm really hungry and it's been a while since I've made my favorite pancakes. What I have been listening to lately when I like walk a long distance or ride my bike or go to the gym is I've been trying to find really good podcasts on Spotify which are free. So I found one which I think is really interesting. I really like murder mysteries. I always have. I was obsessed with this like murder TV channel which is called ID or something. I've been listening to this podcast called Dr. Dead. Death, which is all about this neurosurgeon which uh, operated I believe in Texas he basically killed I believe two of his patients and manipul not manipulated mutilated I think is how you say that a couple of his patients as well who had um, like a lot of like spinal problems like central nervous system problems it's so creepy the man is really manipulative but I really love how it's told through like interview perspectives the woman who like narrates it has a really soothing and nice voice so I'm gonna walk home listen to that podcast because I'm like almost halfway through and then I'm gonna make hopefully some banana pancakes and then I'm gonna finish my France reading vlog because yesterday I couldn't and I just really want to get it up on my channel and then I'm gonna read I'm gonna start the perks of being a wallflower because I didn't start it yesterday evening I don't remember even what I did yesterday I think oh yesterday I watched um, I started watching season three of La Casa de Papel I watched the first two episodes enjoying it very much but it's not like the same as the first two seasons but it's still really good but now let's go home <laughs> finished editing my video and it's almost 2 30 in the afternoon how did time work how did they go well there were a couple of things like in between that happened that I had to do but also editing just took me way longer than I expected I thought that I was gonna be done at like 12 it's two and a half hours later I've literally spent half of the day editing already and it just sucks that all that time is gone I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna read because the weather is so nice right now look at this oh my god look at how pretty that is I'm gonna go downstairs lay in the sun and read some. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but today is day three of the reading rush. I didn't vlog yesterday because yesterday I had to work all day in the mother flipping heat of 34 degrees celsius by the way my hair looks absolutely awful but i'm gonna wash it later because the swimming pool downstairs is getting filled with water so i'll show you that in a bit i am definitely over halfway of the books of being a wallflower by stephen chabosky and i have to say surprisingly enough i am quite enjoying it i didn't think that i would because the writing style is definitely not what i'm used to i guess our main character is 15 years old he also turns 16 in the book and the way that he narrates the story feels so like overly simplified which can be I wouldn't say really annoying but it sounds just really juvenile sometimes it also makes difficult situations look the main character just explains them in a super simple way which is just like yeah that's 
how life is. I don't know, it's not really revolutionary, but it's definitely like opening my eyes a bit more. So the Perks of Being a Wallflower is about this boy called Charlie, and he's going to freshman year of high school, and he basically doesn't really have any friends, and then he meets Sam and Patrick, and they become their friends. You follow kind of his life story throughout that. He's been dealing with a lot of stuff mentally, and you can definitely tell that from the way that he tells his story. You're following his life story throughout this book, and I'm really enjoying it. And I didn't think I would because of the way that the story is told. But in some way, it's really doing something for me, I guess. On the first day of the reading rush, I read 76 pages. No, 67. Shit. <laughs> and then yesterday, I read 86 because I did have to work a lot and it was really hot. I'm gonna finish this one today and hopefully read a lot more like in Harry Potter or in The Hobbit because I just wish to finish those books the most because I've been reading them for a long time. So I just finished reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. So until so far, I've read 231 pages for The Reading Rush. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice a little bit of my watercoloring skills because I really want to try and make more bookmarks like these because I made this one once and I really want to make it into like an actual bookmark that I could sell one day. So I'm gonna practice my art skills. Oh my god, I have 2% left on my camera. Today is day six of the reading rush and I look like crap. Yesterday, I didn't go out, but we met up with some friends from high school and we drank some alcohol, baby. That is why I look this tired and my eyes are so tiny and I'm still wearing my PJs. A little update on what I've been reading these past two days. On Thursday, I went swimming the whole day. We also went to the beach with Tim and his family and I didn't read anything that day, which sucked, but okay. Yesterday, I read, I finished, another book. After one and a half years, I finally finished reading The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and I'm so happy that I'm done with this. I read the last hundred pages yesterday through audiobooks, so I read The Hobbit through that, which helped so incredibly much. I was just listening to the story the whole time. It's a good adventure story, but throughout half of the book, I was completely like, I lost interest. So, finished this one, gave it three out of five stars. I haven't read a lot of pages until so far at all in this reading rush, but today I'm gonna read some Harry Potter and let's see how far I can get with that. I really, huh, it's not going as I wanted to, but that's okay. I've just been having so much fun with people and just doing other things than that. Yes, I'm gonna read some in Harry Potter right now. A couple of hours later and I'm still rocking the same outfit. <laughs> I have an update. And the thing is that if you watch my Reading Rush TBR, you know that I didn't have a book for the challenge, read an author's first book. I was updating my Reading Rush like page on the website and then and I saw that someone was reading James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl and I was like what challenge does this book like tick off and I looked it up and James and the Giant Peach is Roald Dahl's first published book and guess what book I have James and the Giant Peach. So I've been reading it the whole day. It's a really tiny book. It's 150 pages, but I'm just gonna read it today. Pretty much that I'm gonna finish it. And then I just, I feel good about myself because then I have read three books this week, which I think is a good number. I just want to have three books read. I will also complete another challenge with this book, which is read a book in the same spot because I've been reading it the whole day in my reading chair. I am really enjoying it until so far. I love all of Roald Dahl's stories until so far. Of course, I have had stories which I didn't like as much as the others, but this one is like top notch. I really like it. I don't know. It's a really funny story about this um, boy called, what's his name? Yeah, James. Ah, uh, it's in the title. My brain sometimes. Um, This is the story about James and when he was four, his parents were killed because they were eaten by, I believe it was a did you say that? A rhino? A rhinosaurus? I don't know how you say that in English. A rhino. They were eaten by a rhino while they were on a trip to the zoo, which is really sad. And James has been living with his two awful aunts. He's been living with two of the worst people in his life. And then one day this man comes by and gives him a bag of weird green thing. Basically, he drops the bag and all of a sudden this giant peach starts growing from the tree and he has a big group of insect friends. I'm really liking the story until so far. I'm gonna read 
read more before dinner and hopefully finish it today and otherwise I will just have like the smallest portion left that I need to read tomorrow in order to finish that book. I haven't read any Harry Potter but I couldn't find an audiobook of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Just thought Roald Dahl is quick to get through. I just want to hit the three bookmark and I just I'm I know that I won't finish Harry Potter. For now Roald Dahl it is and I'm really happy because it's been a couple of months since I've read another Roald Dahl book and I want to finish all of them. Good <laughs> afternoon. I wanted this to go way more smoothly than it did. Oh. Okay, I just came out of the shower because I went to the gym today. I cannot say that very often, so I'm proud of myself. It's already almost 2 p.m., which is insane. I woke up quite late. I wanted to record a video today. I don't think that's gonna happen because I just don't feel like putting on makeup. Plus, I also have this vlog, which I have to edit. Yesterday, I started reading James and the Giant Peach, and I read up until page 109. So I have 40 pages to read in this book. I'm gonna do that right now. Today, I will be finishing it, and then I've read three books and I want to read some in Harry Potter. We shall see if I'm still gonna do that because I keep saying that for over two days and I still haven't done it. First I'm gonna fix the way that I'm looking. Okay so I just like an hour ago finished James and the Giant Peach. I gave it four out of five stars. Oh my god my room is a mess again and I'm gonna clean it tomorrow because I'm gonna go to Tim's tonight and have dinner there. There I'm gonna have dinner there. I won't be bringing Harry Potter with me because the book is just so gigantic. The reading rush is still going on for like a couple of hours here, like seven hours, but I think I'm gonna start Sorcery of Thorns tonight. If I could count this for a challenge, it has purple on the cover, if you can see in the roses here on the corner. I will definitely not be finishing this because this is a 400 page book. I might just get in like the first 30 pages at max tonight. This is a new fantasy release and I think I might be doing a like spilling the tea on video with this one as well because it's such a popular book right now and I really really hope that I'm gonna love it as much as everyone else loves it right now. I haven't really read any fantasy books at all this year which is just insane. Oh you guys I think today is July 29th so there still are three days in July left. Yes oh my god there's still three days left in July but I'm gonna end this reading vlog right here because I just want to keep it like this. I know that the only thing that I will do is read more in Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Yesterday oh I did didn't put a bookmark in it. So yesterday I read up until page 25 in this book so I just only have like a slight understanding of the story but I am really intrigued. So for the next upcoming three days I will be reading this and if you guys want to know how I'm doing with my reading you guys can follow me on Goodreads and all of my other social media pages are in the description bar down below. This is the seventh book that I'm reading this month, which is insane. I just cannot remember when I read my seventh book of the month for the last time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking, la, la, la. you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.